Hi Gemini, welcome back. This is going to be a Valentine's Day special. The person you're thinking about, the person you're missing, what they would like to say to you, what action they may take. This is not going to completely resonate for each and every one of you. So do take what resonates and then anytime you would like me to focus in on just your energy, the link to my Etsy shop is down below in the description box. Just tap on it and it'll take you right over so you can see the variety of readings that I offer. If forever you do tap on the link and it says on vacation, getting caught up on readings, go ahead and favorite the shop. That way you'll get notification of when my shop opens, but also of sales that I run for my, for my readings. Um, I'm giving away three free love readings the month of February. So for those of you that are new, so happy that you are here. Go ahead and subscribe. New and returning subscribers, leave a heart emoji in the comment section of each reading you view of mine during the month of February. I'm going to randomly choose three people at the end of February and be reaching out to you initially through YouTube. Um, make sure your notifications are on and then I will send you over to my Etsy shop where you're going to contact the shop owner and let me know that you're one of the people that were chosen for the free reading. I do this each and every month. And I will always redirect you to my Etsy shop where it's protected. Um, anybody that's posing as me on WhatsApp, like through what's like advertising WhatsApp or Patreon, that is not me. I only use YouTube and I would only reach out to you and let you know that you won the free reading, the giveaway reading during the first week of the month. Um, people are letting me know that they're receiving comments. I am reporting them to YouTube. They tell me they're working on it, but who knows? All right, so this is what your person is thinking and feeling towards you during this month, during this Valentine's Day. Spiritual connection. Uh, this one's getting, this one has come out often. Like when you find yourself consistently thinking about someone and you can't ever get them off your mind, it's not because you're crazy. Because I'm sure there were other connections you've had in terms of love and relationship that you were able to move on, meet some of, meet someone else. But, you know, it's like that one specific person that may stick out in your head. There's a reason. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. It's called a kindred spirit. It's called a soulmate connection. It's called a past life experience with this person. And that's why they stand out. All right, for my Geminis. The sun. So with the sun here, it makes me feel it could be a Leo that you're dealing with. But you could love sunflowers. I love sunflowers. Three, zero. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. I feel like you've planted the seeds with this person. And I feel like something is manifesting here. With thorns at the bottom, 30, 31. I feel like this connection has gone through some turmoil. A rough patch or rough patches. Because here's the sun and see all these thorns that are blocking it. I feel like there's about to be a huge breakthrough between you and this person. All right. For my Geminis. And that wanted to come out right away. Let's see. Here is the picture. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your heart regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So what that's saying is even in separation with someone, go about your day with, great, with a grateful heart. Add that light into your life, looking at it from a different perspective because what you're manifesting you want to do from the highest energy. You want to raise your vibration. All right. 
for my Geminis. Message from them, from their person to them. What they would want Gemini to know during this Valentine's Day. Alright, let's see. I can't stop thinking about you. So didn't I say the reason you can't get this person off your mind? I know you were the one that got away. You are so attractive inside and out. You are perfect to me. All right, let's see if there's anything else. All right. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward moment, movement. Now, this could be when the two of you were together. You might have met at a time where the two of you were not in the best energy. You might have come from like a recent breakup. Or other things might have been going on in both your lives that just suck and you didn't feel like you were in the best energy. I couldn't give you the love you truly deserve. And I love the bottom one. I wish you were next to me. See, there is somebody missing on you. Gemini. Bottom of the deck could be dealing with a Virgo, with the Hermit, soul searching, taking some time out, really thinking about your future and what you want in terms of love and with this person. With the thorns there, even through turmoil, make sure you raise your vibration and manifest from a higher energy what you want with this person. All right, current situation. Five of Wands. So there is definitely turmoil and conflict. Could be a fire sign. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like there was a misunderstanding. But there was definitely bumps in the road. Obstacles. What is the advice for Gemini? Ten of Swords. So the advice is to allow that ending to happen. There is a breakthrough that is on the horizon. More fire energy. Embrace that ending. Embrace the pain that you feel with the Ten of Swords. And what does the future hold? Now, this person might have had someone else at the time. We have earth energy here and we have water energy. Now you could also have earth and water fire in your chart. But I feel like someone's coming towards you very slowly. It, it might have been some time that you've been apart from one another. And they're going to make that romantic gesture. I mean, if they have a guitar and they start singing to you, I would be all in. I love a person who can sing. Like... My person can sing. And I feel like I manifested that in my life because I always wanted someone who had a nice voice that I could just listen to. And I do. I mean, sometimes he gets a little loud, but he still has a great voice and can sing. And I feel like, I, I really feel like there's going to be someone who, like this person's going to come towards you and give you that romantic gesture. I feel like they're coming towards you stable you know i feel that they have some security within themselves now and they are able to offer something substantial but like i said you know you might have met them at a time where they were dating other people you know and a choice needed to be made you could have, you could be dating someone else currently and like i said you might hear from this person i need to make a choice but I definitely feel like there was some emotional pain because at one point this was a comforting connection in your life. So embrace that pain, but then allow yourself to heal. So you manifest this person at a higher vibration.
justice. So Gemini, you could have Libra in your chart, but I feel like they want to come towards you and talk about these difficult times that you had. They want to have a heart to heart with you and balance the scales. Definitely could be a Libra. Or you have Libra in your chart. They only have eyes for you. And they want you to come, they want you to notice them. They want to come towards you and they want you to see how far they've come. How hard they've worked on themselves. You may have had to walk away. You know, with these obstacles here, these personality clashes that might have happened, this must temper, misunderstanding, you might have had to walk away from this. But I, I feel like, yeah, see, both of you are getting a different perspective on this connection. It's like, you know that there's more here. So you're surrendering to what didn't work, to the pain that you felt on both sides and realizing there is this love here. They could be younger than you. They could be a younger earth sign. But we have fire, air. We have every, actually every, every energy here. Here's the chariot. There might be some tra traveling that needs to be involved. They might be a distance away from you. I'm getting Leo here. And with the sunflowers, it could be around the fall that you met them or last heard from them. Their birthday might be around the fall. You might even have fire in your chart, Leo. But there is love here. They want to make this right. But do, like I said, do raise your vibration. Even if you're in sadness, you know, allow somebody to make you laugh today or on Valentine's Day. Love on yourself. Increase your energy. All right, we have R, Rebecca, Rick, Ron. Now, the names I say are just names that come to my head, but look for your initials, your person's initials, maybe letters within your name. Maybe they even spell out the name. If this resonates and you don't see tiles that go with, you know, either one of your names, that's okay too. D, Dan, Dominic, Dominique. There's a Y there. N for Nick. Georgina, George, Gina, U, I, P, Pete, Paul, Patricia, Tom, Tammy, Tabitha, B, Beth, Bernard, S, of course I always think it sucks, S, Samantha, Sam, I just heard son, so maybe you have a son. There's another N, T, A, Amy, Angela, Angelo, O, and then the rest are, no, we have an E here. All right. So do focus on, you know, the messages that came out on the letters. I will be back for many more readings. Remember on Valentine's Day, if you find yourself by yourself and you see people receiving roses at work, chocolate, um, their person stopping by with their Valentine's Day gift, go love on yourself. Eat the cake, drink the wine, take that bubble bath, you know, enjoy the beer, whatever it is that makes you happy on Valentine's Day. Just love on yourself, love on your kids if you have them, love on your pets if you have them. Love on your best friend. You know, just love on yourself. I wish you the best week ahead. I love you all. And I will be back for many more readings.